What's up marketers, serial entrepreneur Jordan Steen here. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about social media marketing tools um, that you need to basically be using on a regular basis because it gives you ideas for content. We get, all the time, we get asked, Jordan, what do you use to find content? How do you create content? We're running out of ways to create content. Well, if you need ways to create content, these are five tools that you must be using. So let's get into this video. All right, guys, so what is social media monitoring? Basically, what it does is it allows you to track content, okay? It allows you to track topics, subjects that people are typing into search engines, on social media platforms, whatever they're doing uh, to find, you know, the articles that they're reading. This is what social media monitoring allows you to do. And the best part is it allows you to track which ones are the most popular by traffic, by interest level, uh, by intent. So you're able to actually see, okay, well, this person really enjoys this topic. These people really enjoy this topic. I need to create a topic or an article or a video around that topic. So that way we can actually show up organically in these search results. That's what it helps you do. It helps you get more free traffic. All right. So the first tool we're going to talk about, and I have five that we're going to talk about. Okay. Uh, the last two are really ones that nobody really ever uses um, or might even be aware of. So make sure you stick around to see those last two. Uh, but the other three, they're still just as useful, but you probably don't even know the tools exist within these platforms. Okay, so let's go into these. First one we're going to cover is Hootsuite. And there's two really cool features that I like to track in Hootsuite. Um, number one is Twitter. You can actually track mentions, you can track hashtags, you can track topics in general when people type them into their tweet, uh, into the tweet feed um, or into the Twitter feed. Um, so you're able to see which topics people are actually talking about just on that platform specifically. So again, it gives you ideas, um, it gives you topics that people are talking about and it allows you to see, okay, well this one had a ton of engagement so we can probably create a topic about that and then we'll get the same type of engagement. Uh, the second thing on Hootsuite is the Instagram, uh, basically hashtag monitoring. So you're allowed to see which hashtags on Instagram are doing great in specific areas or in specific niches. So again, a really great tool to create content um, and to figure out which people are engaging with that specific content. That's really the key is to find out which ones people are engaging with because you can create content all day, right? But if no one engages with it, then that means no one sees it. No traffic was driven to that. Uh, specific post or that article or that video that you're trying to promote. So it's very important that you understand if you're not getting traffic, you're wasting time creating content. Okay, so make sure it's content that people are actually going to want to watch. So the second one we're going to talk about is Sprout Social. Now, Sprout Social is very similar to Hootsuite. And I guess I should mention that both of these platforms are management platforms as well. So they allow you to schedule posts and do all the other stuff. But really, Again, for this video, we're talking social media monitoring. So Sprout Social allows you to plan out campaigns and execute campaigns the same as Hootsuite, um, but it offers a couple different tools. So you can do engagement and moderation. Um, so that way you can see who's engaging with what content on your channels. Uh, that's really the coolest part about it is you see, okay, these people are engaging um, you know, this much with this specific piece of content. So we need to maybe try to take that and make what I call a, a syn synonymous piece of content. Basically, it means the exact same thing or it talks about a similar topic, very, very similar, but it's uh, about specifically different information in that video. So, uh, you know, for example, with Hootsuite, you could be talking about getting engagement uh, from your audience and then you could also talk about like people who already view your audience or view your content. In the other video, you could create something like uh, how to get or how people are engaging with your content that are new traffic. You know, you could create two different topics basically and rework them to be around the same general idea because you know one had engagement and this one, if we create it and just kind of put a little bit of a spin on it, make it a little bit different, it should get good engagement as well, right? So Sprout Social, Hootsuite, they're both very, very similar in what they offer and allow you to do. You're allowed to, I like, um, or, and this is just my opinion, but Sprout Social has a better analytics platform, so you're able to see the data coming in from all of your social platforms and where the engagement really exists. That's just my opinion, but you know, it's really up to you and what you prefer. And again, these options are free to start out with. Um, you know, you can start off with, you're limited to, I think, three profiles on each, but it is a great way, again, if you're starting on a budget to get on those platforms and start managing and then 
coming up with content and finding content based on what you're looking at on these platforms. I keep pointing over here, my computer's over here, so anyways. But yeah, Sprout Social, Hootsuite, first two, really, really great. So the third one we wanna talk about is gonna be Icona Square. And Icona Square is different in the sense that it allows you to do two really cool things. Number one, it, I think that it has a better platform for tracking your competitors' content. So you're actually able to upload who your competitors are, what their profiles are like, and you can see exactly what content is coming from their pages that's getting results, right? The other thing is gonna be hashtag monitoring, which we mentioned Hootsuite also has. Uh, the difference is because you're able to do it with your posts, your videos, uh, and your photos, and you're able to see it over time and then sort by different content. That's really the difference there. I love the fact that you can sort through it a lot easier than you can with the, with the other platforms. So it gives you kind of an advantage there. You're able to do it a lot quicker. But again, these three platforms are very similar in what they offer. They offer scheduling. Um, I don't like Icona Square because of the fact that they only do Facebook and Instagram right now. That's their primary focus. Um, but they're much more advanced than the other platforms because that is their focus. So my opinion, guys, you know, it's up to you which platform you choose to use. I recommend choosing one and sticking with one, getting really good with one. Um, and then if you need to, branching out from there. But definitely start with one. Definitely make sure you're following hashtags and the content and the competitors in your niche or in your client's niche that you need to be following so that way you get the best content all the time. Now the last two I'm gonna talk about, again, these are my favorite because it shows you exactly what content is working right now and it even shows you, it ranks it by engagement level. Um, the first one does, the other one just gives you all the newest content coming out, all right? So the first one we're gonna talk about is Buzzsumo. Buzzsumo is amazing, all right guys? You just type in some keywords into their search bar and it gives you all of the articles that were created that have those keywords included in them. And then it shows you how many likes it got, how many shares it got, how many comments it got. So that way you know, okay, this one had two likes, this one had 100 likes, so maybe we should create a topic about this one that had you know, the most engagement. Uh, but it pulls articles from all across the web. You can sort by, I believe, social media platforms. You can sort by websites. You can sort by blogs. You can sort by podcasts. There's all kinds of stuff that you can sort by. Um, but that's all they do. They're a data company. That's what they focus on primarily. So Hootsuite, again, is not really a data-focused company. So they're only allowed to provide so much, or it's not even that they're allowed to provide so much. It's that they only provide so much. And then again, it's because it's not their focus, right? Buzzsumo, that is their only focus. They're about data and figuring out how you can maximize uh, your, efficiency, your efficiency and your advertising online by creating content that really matters the most. So definitely, whenever you're going through the planning phase for your content, Buzzsumo is a tool that you need to use. Now, the last one I wanna talk about, and it's definitely my favorite, one of the newer tools that I started using, and it's called Google Alerts. Now, if you guys aren't using Google Alerts, you're really missing out on one of the best tools out there because it's a search engine, so they have all of the content um, that people are posting, plus they know what traffic levels are like, what engagement levels are like, because again, they're tracking all of this information so that way they can provide the best SEO, right? Or the best uh, rankings on search engines for content, right? So Google Alerts, the way it kind of works is you just set up an alert on keywords and they email you every single day if you like, or you can set up the different notification levels if you want, but they'll email you on those topics that you want to, to you know, keep on top of every single day. And it gives you the top articles that are coming out that day, that week, that month. It is by far my favorite tool to use for creating content because again, it shows you what articles people are publishing and then you can go and see what their engagement levels are like. Now, Google Alerts doesn't tell you, you know, this one got a thousand likes and 200 comments, well, it doesn't tell you all that, but it does keep you up to date on all of the content coming out as it comes out, right? And that's what the key is with monitoring. You wanna stay on top of things as quickly as you possibly can and stay current because current, it, being current is really what makes you stay ahead of the game with regards to releasing blog content, uh, video content. If you're behind the game, if you're releasing something, you know, two years after somebody already created the topic about it, well, you're missing out on a lot of the traffic that that person has already taken, right? So these are five really cool tools that I really, really recommend. Now, guys, here's the thing. If you are looking for, you know, some sort of way to learn more about how we do all of this, how we find content, how we create content, uh, the steps to creating content, how we select keywords, all of that. There are two links in the description below that you're gonna wanna click on, okay? There's, well really it's just one link. There's two things on our website that you wanna check out. We have our digital marketing school, which that is 
you know, how we've taught several students how to make $30,000 a year, or, sorry, $30,000 a month, um, $15,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $5,000. 1,000, 2,000, you know, if it's that extra stream of revenue that you're looking looking to really take advantage of, if you're really looking to start an agency, I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna check out the Digital Marketing School. Now, if you're looking for more advanced level stuff, if you've taken courses and you're looking just for, you know, a mentor or more, you know, in-depth training, intermediate level, expert level training, then I really, really recommend you look at my marketing agency uh, mentorship group. It's called MAP Marketing Agency Padawans. You guys are my Padawans. But you guys will wanna check out that mentorship program because again, it's four live trainings every single month with me. You get to ask questions and it's all intermediate to advanced level training, okay? so. If you feel like you're not getting enough from the courses that you are taking, this is the next step for you, all right? So I'm gonna get out of here, guys. All of the links, free training, all of that is in the description below. If you're looking to shoot me a message, then just do it on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, one of those, and I'll be able to get back with you personally because I'm the one who answers to you guys, uh, not just some little robot or something like that. Last thing I want to ask guys is if this video was helpful for you at all, if it kind of opened your eyes to some new tools, then throw a like down there and maybe add a comment of which tool is your favorite one to use because really I want other people to see that you guys are using these tools as well. It's not just me, it's not just some other marketers, it's multiple people. So let other people know what your thoughts are on some of these platforms and especially if you're using Google Alerts, let me know. If you haven't used Google Alerts before, also let me know because seriously, this is gonna make you so happy when it comes down to finding articles and just getting you know updates every single day on what's going on best tool to use my favorite platform by far but i'm gonna get out of here guys i hope you guys all enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so that way you get updates to the best content on the internet until next time guys i'll talk to you later serial entrepreneur out ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle well at serial entrepreneur academy we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency get started with our free facebook ads training links in the description below guys see you in the course serial entrepreneur out